In 2015, we were working at our main dinosaur quarry in central Utah, an ancient river deposit that over the last 10 years, over 1,000 bones have been found. One of the local rangers told me about a large petrified log. It was from a layer of rock where not many fossils were known, period. I decided to take a sample of it and just send it to a friend of mine, Nathan Judd, who is a paleobotanist, and looked at it under the microscope and he immediately knew that it was a flowering plant. He was really excited because flowering trees, angiosperms, were not known at that time. There's an old theory that dinosaurs and flowering plants co-evolved, but there's still huge gaps in the fossil record. This is a really nice discovery because it opens up a window. The fossil tree is at least six feet wide, and a few dozen yards of it are preserved, and we estimate from the, the way that it's tapering and the overall diameter that it would have been about 150 feet tall. Every year I've taken undergraduate and graduate students on uh, excavations out west. You can really understand a lot of the processes that shaped the Earth's history when you can really see the rock record laid down in layers. A typical day at a dig, it's a nine to five, but with a lot more logistical difficulties. Drive to the site, maybe a half hour, an hour, and then you hike in another half hour, 40 minutes, and then you start your nine to five. When you find a fossil, it's almost always really fragile. Almost immediately when you find a fossil, you wanna put specialized adhesives, and then we wrap it in paper towel, and then encase that all in plaster and burlap. We bring that back to Adelphi, where my undergraduate assistants here help me open up each of the jackets, and then clean, stabilize, and glue together any of the fragments from the fossils. So we make 3D models either from CAT scans or through other modeling techniques, and then we can use the computer to study those. So one of the most surprising things for me about this discovery is just how important a single specimen or a single discovery can still be. There's just tons of fossil discoveries out there, and we're learning so much about the history of life we really are in a golden age of fossil discoveries. There's a new species of dinosaur every couple weeks. There's so much interest and so much enthusiasm for the discipline right now that it makes it a fun time to work in.